Fox, and I'd like to welcome you to the Joy of Painting. Today I'm here with my son Steve, and we're going to show you how to paint a nice detail card. To paint our masterpiece, we're going to use my three favorite colors and our little brush to show you how to paint a nice masterpiece. Now let's go over our colors. We have my favorite color red, black, and blue. And with this, we're going to be able to paint our little heart. Today we'll be using our wonderful 25 by 30 inch canvas. And to start off, I added a layer of liquid white to make your painting life that much easier. So to start off our painting, we're just going to be painting a little pretty over here at the bottom. And this name is going to be the Tricuspid Valve. Next, we have to give our friend a little home, but he also has another friend, so we're going to have to build two homes. And the one on the left is going to be called the Pinnacle Pulmonary semi -lunar. Now we get to add our little friend over here to the right, and his name is going to be the mitral valve. Now to make this all come together, what we're going to do here is turn our painting into a little alligator. Now we have to give our alligator a little mouth over here at the bottom. Now our friend here gets into a lot of fights, so he gets a little bit rough though. So we're going to give him a spot over here, and we're going to call this the intramatricular circuit. Next, what we have to do here is out the sides of his face. So the right is actually going to be the left, and so we're going to call this the right ventricle. And then we're going to call the other side the left ventricle. To continue our painting, we're going to start off with the blood delivery system called the pulmonary artery. We're going to draw this like a big T. Now we're going to add the aorta, and it looks like this. top part is called the ascending aorta because it is going up and the bottom part is the descending aorta because it's going down. Now we're going to draw the atriums. This is the right atrium. This is the left atrium. Now we're going to draw the superior vena cava. and the inferior vena cava. And it looks like a straw. Now we're going to add the pulmonary veins. And this is where the pulmonary veins go into the left aorta. Blood isn't always red. At first, it's a nice blue. Our blue little buddy likes to make an interest from the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. From here, it goes through the right atrium, down to the right ventricle, over to the pulmonary artery, and it goes out to the lungs. So for our red blood, it likes to start in the pulmonary veins and make its way over to the left atrium. From the left atrium, it goes on into the left ventricle, and then it makes its way up into the aorta, and then it continues its path, its path along the aorta, all the way down to the center. The electrical impulse of the hearts starts at the SA node, which is right here, and goes to the AV node, which is right here. The AV node then sends the signal to the intraventricular septum into bundles. The bundles then go down to the myocardium and reach the Purkinje fibers, which are right here.